When it comes to manifestation, there are primarily two school of thoughts. The first school of thought says the moment you decide that you want to manifest something, consider it done, it's already yours. Versus the second school of thought says, if you decide that this is something that you want to manifest, you have to start working towards it, you have to align yourselves, you have to make sure that everything falls in place. Now, for somebody who's new to the world of manifestation and law of attraction, this may sound confusing and contradictory. Which school of thought is correct? Is there any sort of a logic in both of these statements? Well, let me clarify this for you right at the start. Yes, there are. there is a lot of logic and both the schools of thoughts are absolutely correct. Law of attraction is all about alignment. Law of attraction is all about getting your manifestation in alignment with your subconscious mind and the universe. I'll explain this to you in a lot easier manner through the episode. So make sure that you stay till the end. And at the end of the episode, I'm going to give you a surprise for at least the new audience of this podcast. I'm doing something that I've never done. So with that, let's begin. Hello and welcome to the 36th episode of Manifest with Paycheck to Profit, a weekly podcast that helps you understand uh, law of attraction, get answers to questions and confusions with regards to how does manifestation work, how can you manifest more wealth into your life using law of attraction and a lot more. I'm Manish Ahuja, your money mindset and financial literacy coach and founder of Paycheck to Profit. So without further ado, let's begin. To make any manifestation come true, you have to make sure of five elements falling in place for everything that you're trying to manifest. The first thing out of that is alignment with your end goal or your long term vision. Now, what, what exactly does this mean? Let's say if you are a working professional, you need to have full clarity of what your end goal looks like. Do you just want to become a team leader? Do you want to become a manager, a senior manager? Do you want to become a director of do you want to go the whole way and become a CEO of a company or start a startup and become a stake owner in the company? What exactly does your end goal look like? The more clarity you have about the end goal, it becomes a lot easier for you. What, what exact, whatever you're trying to uh, manifest, it has to be in alignment with your long term goal. If your long term goal is the fact that you want to become a CEO, your manifestations on your way have to be like you have to be good at managing teams. You have to be absolutely good at managing finances or managing all the resources that come to you with the team, so on and so forth. An extension of this is the second point. Everything that you're trying to manifest, you need to have absolute clarity of what you're trying to manifest. You want to become the CEO? What skill sets will that CEO need? What would be the size of the company that you want to become the CEO? What industry are you focusing on? What skill sets do you need to master before you even get to the next stage of your career? What will the jumps in your career look like? Everything has to be right in front of you. You have to have absolute clarity of your milestones. How much do you want to manifest? What is going to be the timeline? How are you going to make that timeline come true? Why is it so important for you to achieve these goals? You have to have to have as much clarity as possible. To help you with this, let me invite you to become a member of the Profit Clan. What is Profit Clan? Profit Clan is an email community of Paycheck to Profit, a community made exclusively for millennials and Gen Zs who are wanting to look at creating a new and a better relationship with money, who want to achieve financial freedom, but by changing their money mindset, by understanding the concept of money blocks and eliminating these money blocks that come on your way. And most importantly, by using law of attraction to manifest more wealth into their life with abundance and peace. If this sounds exciting for you, please make sure to check the show notes or the description of this video below the like button while I move swiftly to the third point, which is having absolute full faith in the system. Law of attraction will not work if you are skeptical about whether the system works, whether you are if you are not entirely sure if your belief system in the universe is full fledged or half hearted. If anything about your faith, your belief in the law of attraction in universe is half hearted, make sure to just forget that law of attraction will work for you because law of attraction is all about vibrations, energies. It's all about you being in sync. Some, being in sync is something that I'm going to keep repeating all the time. So what is it that how will you get into the sync? First of all, you have to have the faith that the universe is always in your favor. You have to have the faith that if you want something, you desire something with all the possible right intentions, there is no way that it is not going to come true for you. Hence, you have to have absolute clarity and full faith in the system. 
the fourth thing that you have to the fourth element that has to fall in place for every manifestation or every desire that you're trying to fulfill is that there has to be zero room for confusing or opposing thought now let me explain this to you in a very simple manner let's take the ceo example all over again imagine if you want to be a ceo what could be the conflicting thoughts for a person who's trying to become a ceo i'm not good with managing people how are you going to become how are you going to achieve a leadership position in any company if you're not good at managing people i don't like taking risks as a ceo it is going to be a prerogative that you learn to manage risks and learn to take calculated risks in your career for your business and for the company that you're working for so that you can make better decisions hence whatever it takes if your end goal is to become a ceo if your end goal is to create a career which is unlike any other you just can't choose the outcome without having to sign up for the process everything that falls in process everything that is a part of your journey you will have to accept wholeheartedly and you'll have to work towards understanding what are the resistances what are the things that you're uncomfortable with what are the things that you will have to learn and master and just within 2 minutes i'm going to tell you how all of this comes in place but before that let me tell you the fifth point the fifth point is you have to have patience resilience and focus now understand this like i told you in the last four points the entire game of law of attraction is about being in sync how will you be in sync not everybody is born with the whole clarity of what goal they are looking for what resistances they are going to face so to get absolute engrossed in the system to get completely invested in the system for you to fall in sync you will have to give yourself time you will have to be a little patient you will have to work you will have to work on yourself you will have to make yourself better and once you make yourself better once you are in absolute sync with the universe and with your subconscious mind there is no way your manifestation won't come true and if you think this is too hard to believe let me give you a story which is going to feel absolutely impossible on paper but i'll tell you how law of attraction makes it happen let me introduce you to idil karate ke idil karate ke is one of the community members of prophet clan she hails from turkey turkey is a beautiful country idil is lucky enough to come from a privileged family idil has always been absolutely and extremely ambitious she could have created a very comfortable lifestyle for herself back in her home country but you know what was idil's goal what was her end goal her lifetime goal she wants to make a big difference in the corporate world she wants to be an absolute beacon of hope and inspiration for women back in her hometown in her home country she could have chosen to build a small business or a career way back in turkey but no she decided that she wants to build an international career for his her for herself her thought process is that if i want to build a career i want to be associated with the headquarter of the company which is generally in countries like canada and us and that is exactly what she manifested for herself she actually ended up manifesting a degree for herself in university of toronto which is one of the best universities of canada she ended up doing her bachelor's in psychology and economics from university of toronto now this may not feel absolutely mind blowing or difficult or impossible for people at large there are millions of people from across the world who go and get a degree from international countries but this is exactly where you need to be a little sensitive you don't know everybody's story it will also went through multiple challenges she had to uh, convince her family convince her parents she had to be absolutely certain about her about her seriousness of wanting to build a corporate career for herself and she did that as a teenager how much clarity did you have as a teenager i am not sure because i absolutely did not have a lot of clarity about my life goals my career goals until mid 20s or almost towards the end of my 20s so credit where it is due itil had absolute faith in the system she did everything in her capacity to convince her parents go and get the transcripts file for admission secure that admission and actually go through an entire course of uh undergrads in psychology and economics but you know what that is still not enough 
she has still had to face a lot of challenges in her career and her journey is still ongoing maybe the second part of her career and her journey will come very soon in another episode if you want to know what happened to idil after her graduation leave a comment below and tell me i want part 2 for idil's story and i'll be more than happy to continue her story in one of our future episodes let me very quickly consolidate all the five elements that you need to have in place for all of your manifestations to come true at a breakneck speed the first thing that you have to have is a alignment with your vision and your end goal for whatever you're trying to manifest all your desires have to be in alignment with your vision and your end goal you have to have absolute clarity on what does your end goal look like how will you reach there what are the timelines what are the milestones that you want to achieve the more clarity you bring to the table the better for you have full faith in the system of abundance law of attraction universe so on and so forth have zero room for opposing thoughts or confusing thoughts which derail your process of manifestation and fifth having absolute faith in patience resilience and focus while you are working towards making your manifestations come true if you are somebody who is a part of the profit clan reach out to me on email and dms on instagram and let me know what are the what are some of the manifestations of your life that have come true with a with the concept of finances your career your business or your uh, or anything to do with finances and wealth if i like your story you never know like idle you can be featured in one of the future episodes of manifest with page to profit one reason why most people end up failing at bringing all of these elements together in their manifestation is because they lack a lot of self worth i would really request you to listen to episode 12 which was how improving self self worth can attract money that's one of my favorite episodes of this podcast you should absolutely make sure that you listen to that podcast episode even if you've heard it earlier especially after listening or watching this episode make sure that you revisit that uh, podcast all over again also a small reminder if you want to connect with it will make sure that you check the description and the show notes of this episode you'll find multiple ways to connect with it will you'll get to know more about her story you'll also probably get to know about her podcast that she has been creating where she talks about her story a lot more connect with it will she is a really gem of a person very warm very friendly and very 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 helpful thank you so much for giving me your time if you've been listening to this episode until this moment please take 10 seconds and give a five star rating to this episode and if you've been watching this on youtube please hit the like button so that you can actually support this podcast and this episode and this channel a lot more than you will even know and imagine yes this podcast is also available on youtube so if you've been listening to this podcast on any of your podcast applications please head to youtube and also subscribe to the paycheck to profit youtube channel where you'll not just find video episodes of this podcast but you'll also find multiple videos of paycheck to profit where we discuss topics on money mindset uh, money blocks and how do you build a new relationship with money and if you've been listen if you've been watching us on youtube you can definitely subscribe to manifest with paycheck to profit on any podcast application of your choice do me one more favor take a screenshot of this particular episode that you've been watching and share it on instagram stories do tag pay to pro and mr emojical which is my personal id you will find all the details in the uh, show notes or the description of the video and help me reach out to more and more audience and help your community your followers to get to know about manifest with paycheck to profit it will do a big favor to me and help multiple people accomplish their goals manifest their desires through you and you will be a catalyst for them and they'll always be grateful for you a very quick reminder do not forget to become a part of the profit clan this clan is literally incomplete without you if you've been listening to this episode while driving or running your errands let me very quickly uh, read out the url for you it's paychecktoprofit.com/profitclan that is p a y c h e c k t o p r o f i t.com/p r o f i t c l a n paychecktoprofit.com/profitclan become a part of the profit clan the clan is absolutely incomplete without you thank you so much for your time thank you so much for your patience thank you so much for listening to this episode till the end i will now see you in the next episode next monday where i'll talk to you about another aspect of law of attraction and help you manifest your desires until then keep manifesting with paycheck to profit take good care of yourself keep going keep growing